we are going to determine if a point is a solution to a system of three variables. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our system x plus y plus z equals minus 3 2x minus 2y minus z equals minus 7 and minus 3x plus y plus 5z equals 5. And we are going to determine if the point minus 3, 1, minus 1 is a solution. So when we have three variables, just like when we have two variables, we have ordered pairs. In this case, we go x, y, then z. Just follow that alphabetical order and you'll be fine. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to put a minus 3. So for our top one, we'll get minus 3 plus 1 minus 1 equals minus 3. Well, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3, so sure enough, it works for our first equation. But that's not enough. It's not enough that it works just for one, it has to work for all of them. And so we come back in and we go 2 times minus 3, minus 2 times 1, minus 1 times minus 1, does that equal minus 7? Minus 6, minus 2, plus 1. Is minus 8 plus 1 minus 7? Sure enough, is minus 7. So this point also works for our second equation. So this was number 1, number 2. Now for number 3, minus 3 times minus 3 plus 1 plus 5 times minus 1. Does that equal 5? Well, minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. Plus the 1 doesn't change. 5 times negative 1 is minus 5. This gives 10 minus 5, which sure enough, 5 equals 5. And so it works for our third equation. Since it works for all three equations, this is a solution to the system. If even 1 had not worked, we would have said, no, it's not. In order to be valid, it needs to work for everything.